Our tech tips on this edition of the show is on a free way to encrypt your website. My guest shares his thoughts on the various ways mobile messaging platforms are disrupting communication in Africa. Our ladies should love our mobile app of the week. And finally, you can enter to win a Lenovo tablet. That's on our giveaway segment. This is Tech Trends, and I am Chukomeka Agbata. The 2016 Rubber Cup kicked off its China tourney with almost 300 teams in soccer and other contests on the way in Haifi of China's Anhui province. Spectators were entertained with a soccer game between robots and human beings on the first day. The robots beat the creators three goals to two. These robots have already won four world titles and offer for medium-sized robots. <laughs> The Beijing Information Science and Technology University created these robots. Organized by the Robocop Federation, the Robocop is an international robot competition of the highest level, largest scale and most influence. In China, this year's tourney has drawn close to 2,000 robot creators. Competitive events also include household chores and emergency rescues. In the context of emergency rescues, robots will be required to search for survivors from scenes like collapsed buildings or buildings on fire. A senior Chinese engineering academician is looking forward to witnessing good results from participating robots. The sensors on robots can detect vital signs of human beings and dangerous parameters in the surroundings, like harmful gas, accurately. Fifteen teams will qualify from the China tourney for this year's Robocup finals to be held in Germany in June. In the race to develop self-driving cars, the United States and Europe lead in technology. But China is coming up fast in the outside lane. Chang'an, an automobile company, took a couple of its prototype self-driving sedans for a 2,000-kilometer trip from its Chongqing headquarters to the Chinese capital. With a test engineer behind the wheel, with his hands in his lap, the automated system guided the car along a public highway at 80 kilometers per hour, adjusting speed for traffic and speed limit signs while keeping to its lane. The head of Chang'an's autonomous drive program said that a self-driving model should be on the market in two to three years, with the automaker spending 5 billion yuan to further the technology by 2020. Because our self-driving vehicle system has already developed up to this point, we think that in terms of reliability and in degree of maturity, it's already pretty good because in the past, we have already done a large amount of tests and we can already do a long-distance test in actual condition on real public roads. China's top-down approach could see it overtake the US and Europe, where automakers have generally been left to agree among themselves on industry standards. A push for self-driving and electric cars also fit with Beijing's shift to an economy driven by high-tech and consumer industries rather than heavy industry and low-end manufacturing. This year, I personally experienced the application of smart technology to cars. Indeed, technology had changed the future. If these automatic cars could replace the traditional types of cars, I believe that in the future, traffic accidents and certain traffic inconveniences will definitely decrease dramatically. China has some way to go to become a global pacesetter in autonomous driving. Autonomous cars are some distance off. There are a number of issues that have to be resolved there. But uh, the expectation for these features uh, is relatively high. 
as is uh, the connectivity that people expect in a car. For the first time ever, Beijing Automotive Industry Company allowed car enthusiasts and media alike to test out several of its self-driving demo car models on the test track course. Dutch police puzzling over how to remove drones that pose a public safety threat are testing a way to get the job done in one fell swoop with trained eagles. The banner advertising the startup company Guard from Above says it's a low-tech solution to a high-tech problem. The founder and CEO has come to the idea to train and use eagles to intercept unlicensed drones flying into sensitive airspace or above a public event such as a politician's appearance. The eagles are trained to see drones as prey and are rewarded with a piece of meat after each successful foray. The eagles call it alone are strong and tough enough to seize most consumer-grade drones without injury from the blades. Uh, the birds are naturally protected from uh, bites of prey by uh, scales on their talons. So that's a natural protection that uh, the eagle has. But also the Dutch police has asked the research institute TNO to, uh, to research the impact on the, on, the, on, the, on the claws of the birds. And also we are looking into extra protective measures to protect the talents of the birds because animal welfare is key to us. The entrepreneur added the potential impact on the animal's welfare is subject of testing by an external scientific research institute. As amateur use of drones is booming and police and anti-terrorism officials consider ways to respond if it poses a security problem, Hogidon's eagles seem a perfect solution to consider. Other options under study by the Dutch police include shooting nets at the offending drones, remotely hacking them to seize their controls, and a lot more. A decision by police on whether to move ahead with using the eagle is expected by the end of the year.